I, when I was 15, I sneezed a bit of carrot onto a woman's hand. <laughs> I was working in a fruit and vegetable shop at the time and I said to her, we'll not charge you for that bit. <laughs> this was the time I was 15, I had my first Saturday job. I was working at Chalky's Fine Fruit Emporium. It was me, most highly paid staff member, Chalky's Fine Fruit Emporium. It was Anne, the manager, who didn't say much, Julie, all a bit jealous of Julie. She had a sunbed suntan. She was getting married to a man who looked a little bit like Simon Le Bon. Ooh. Shirley, mouth like a pig's bottom, hair not moving. She invented a hole in the ozone layer before we even knew it existed. So this is a day, it's pretty, it's pretty much like every other day at Chalky's Fine Fruit Emporium, you know, just serving customers and helping Chalky get all the stuff off the back of the van, you know, um, turnips and carrots and potatoes, just sacks of stuff, you know. It was kind of the day, just things happen, just something happens that you're like, oh, I remember that. And one of the things that happened, this woman walked into the shop and we knew she wasn't from around there. We just knew, because her hair was really shiny and uh, she spoke quite strangely. And she comes right up to the counter and she says, do you have any avocado purse? Shirley, mouth like a pig's bottom, hair not moving, says, no. No, we don't, actually. Not because we didn't. Because we didn't know what one was. <laughs> this was 1985 in northeast England. And then the woman walks in, with, oh, I sneezed a bit of carrot, you've heard that, hilarious. But it was like a day like any other day except for those, those kind of things. And I'm getting the sacks of potato and all the business from Chalky's van. Got a sack of potato heaved up on my shoulder and... Uh, Chalky comes right up to me, he's kicking 70 plus, like blue, veiny, you know, revolting hands, breath hitting the air, comes right up to me and I can smell his breath. It's, it smelled of carrots. Everybody's did back then. He comes right up to me and he hands a bit of paper and I'm kind of trying to balance this sack of potatoes. So I just shove it into my pinny full of carrot ends and working, you know, whatever. And the day ends, forget all about it, and I'm walking home. And I think, oh, I wonder what that bit of paper was that Chalky gave me. And I, un, un, you know, scramble it, open it up. And I can see um, chalky, scrawly handwriting on it. I decipher it, and it's a poem. It's a poem called Femme Fatale. And it's about a woman that is beautiful, exotic, and yet elusive. <laughs> I didn't understand what it meant. I just threw it away. Never mentioned it. Years later, like we're talking years, 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 years later, 30 odd years later, and my marriage is like a Paul Simon song, you know? We pass, we, pass, we, pass, we drop a smile, Passing in the hall, there's no laughs left because we've laughed them all. <laughs> and then it comes to me, carrot down the nose. So I run to the Preston market and I get a penny exactly like the one I wore that day. And I get a 25 kilo sack of potatoes. I wave James off to work, happy after David writing, hope you have lots of culture and arguments with your clients, hope it's not too litigious before lunchtime, wave him off to work. And I wait in the corridor, in the hallway of the house. 5.17, key in the door. I lift the sack of potatoes high up off the ground and I stand there in the hallway. And he sees me. And he does me right there. <laughs> it saved my marriage. 